Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. I posted a video last month in January that Microsoft was adding another mouse utilities tool to the Power Toys utility app in the near future, and that this would be the third new mouse utility uh, tool that the app would be receiving in the last couple of months. And Power Toys is available, as many of you know, for both Windows 10 and 11. Now, recently, in the last uh, day or so, Microsoft has rolled out Power Toys version 0 0.55.0. And if you do use the app, you can just check for updates, which will help you update the app automatically. And in 0 0.55.0, which is the latest stable version of the Power Toys utility app, uh, the new mouse pointer crosshairs now is available and previously in that uh, previous video uh, it was called inclusive mouse so if we just head over to the mouse utilities over and above find my mouse mouse highlighter we now get mouse pointer crosshairs which says draws crosshairs centered on the mouse pointer now this feature is toggled off by default so you'll have to just enable it to use the feature and our keyboard activation shortcuts by default are Control Alt and P. I've changed mine to Control Alt D for uh, easy uh, easier accessibility on my keyboard. And for appearance and behavior, you can change the crosshair color, the opacity, center radius, thickness, border color, and also the border size. So you've got a couple of uh, appearance and behavior options available to you there. And if I just go Control Alt and D, there we go. We have the new. Uh, mouse pointer crosshairs. Now this, as I say, might appeal to some users and some other users it might not, but I think this would benefit a visually impaired user of Windows um, as a nice handy uh, feature to see where your mouse is if you are visually impaired. And as I say, uh, could and could not appeal to certain users. And then just to uh, disable the feature, we just go back, Control alt t and we disable the new mouse pointer across there so that's the first edition in power toys version 55 and then we have two other new little add-ons and those are both in the file explorer add-ons and the first is if we head to our file explorer and we go alt and p in the preview pane now uh, for developers there is now support for 150 file type preview so that's a, a little extra add-on there for the uh, file explorer add-ons for developers and then also if we go back we now have uh, a new tool for generating stl thumbnail uh, the file format thumbnails in the file explorer add-ons and basically stl um, thumbnail previews are a common 3d file format so that might be useful if you use and generate stl thumbnails and then if we just head over to github where power toys is maintained and developed by microsoft yeah we have those three new uh, uh, add-ons and features as i've mentioned and then obviously also the dotnet runtime is now on version 5 and i also noticed that when i updated so you will get a dotnet upgrade um, to version 5 in um, uh, this latest release and then they say uh, the next release will be upgraded to dot, .NET 6 and then basically all the other extra uh, utilities and tools have received some a bug fix of some sort or improvement and I will leave a link uh, to this web page at GitHub down below if you're interested to go check that out more in depth and you can download the installer if you would like to try out Power Toys and as mentioned, Power Toys is available for both Windows 10 and 11 and is available through the Microsoft Store on both those operating systems if you'd like to go try it out. So just want to let you know that we have that new mouse utilities crosshair feature and then those two new add-ons to the File Explorer add-ons utility in the Power Toys app. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.